Hello and welcome to another trike bike video. This video we explain how to uh, align the rear disc brake and caliper correctly. The first thing you need to do is to make sure the wheels are fitted to the trike. Without having the wheels fitted properly it will allow the axle to move sideways. What I've done here is I've cut off a, an old trike bike axle to show you more detail what's going on. You can see the axle has a keyway machined into it and when the uh, disc brake itself is slid on you'll see that there's an opening machined into the collar which needs to align with the keyway. Here we are on the uh, bench in a vice with some old uh, used spare parts. You'll see I've aligned the keyways and now I've fitted the key and tightened the bolt. But unfortunately, because the key is not positioned correctly, you'll see a lot of movement and wobbling. This is unacceptable and will give you very erratic braking performance. Unfortunately, your trike will not stop when it's like this. The correct position for the key in the keyway needs to be flush with the end of the collar. So the key needs to be all the way into the collar for it to work correctly. Here I'm tightening the bolt down and you'll see in a second just how strong and solid everything is as we try to move the disc. If it's tightened in the correct position it is rock solid. You also always should use a little bit of Loctite when you're tightening up the screw. This is on the bike itself so I've loosened the screw tapping the keyway all the way in so it's flush with the end of the collar and then tightening the bolt again. This is the correct way for assembly. The next thing we need to do is align the, the caliper with the disc. First thing, check that the caliper is nice and tight on the frame by checking the uh, two screws, or bolts I should say. Then we have a couple of bolts with knurled knobs. That, they're the bolts with lines on them. There's one at the top and one at the bottom. By adjusting these we can actually adjust the angle of the brake caliper itself. This way we can make it align correctly with the disc brake. If you don't align it, it will scrape every time the disc brake, uh, every time the uh, disc rotates, it'll go scrape, 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 or it could even be tightened that much that it's giving you full brakes when you're not even pulling on the brake handle. You can see here the adjustment screws and here's the bottom one and you can see how far everything moves a lot of people tend to overdo the movements you don't need to do too much of a turn to uh, make a difference the whole caliper on the rear of our trike is floating we can see here looking up the uh, bottom of the assembly that the caliper is rubbing a lot on one side so I'm going to adjust the caliper to give it a more central position and then wind again listening for any scraping. You can then fine tune to give you the best effect. So you can rotate the axle without any scraping sounds. It is quite normal for the first few kilometers to not be able to get rid of the scraping sound because you will need to bed the brakes into the uh, disc. Once you're happy with it, everything's locked down and you're ready to go. This is the brake arm so the cable is attached to this arm and we can just test to make sure everything is working correctly. On the back of the caliper is an adjustment. This enables you to adjust the far side brake pad itself so when things start to wear you can adjust it. 